hottest day of the summer. So far, yeah, yes. it got hot. It got really <laughs> hot really fast. So we're gearing up for more of that as we head on into the rest of the weekend. We knew it was coming, and here it is, a heat wave all across North Texas, really all across central portions of the U.S. A little bit of, relay, a little bit of rain, rather. That has given a few of you some relief this afternoon, but it's been pretty tough to find. Just some brief downpours that dried up fast. And as you can see on our radar, most all of that rain now has dried up. We had a little bit mainly uh, across northern portions of Dallas County, had a little bit around mineral wells, but again, it was hard to find rain and everyone else just dealing with the heat and that bright sun beaming down. Temperatures right now still holding in the upper 90s to around 100. DFW 99, 100 degrees still there in Fort Worth. And the feels like temperatures, of course, more importantly, are all over 100. Feels like 108 right now in Fort Worth. So take it easy even as we head into the evening. As that sun comes down, the temperatures are just not going to drop very fast. Mentioning we're not done with the heat yet. In fact, that heat advisory has been uh, it continued into tomorrow. So originally we were thinking it would expire tonight, but it looks like it is going to still be incredibly hot tomorrow. Heat advisory stay in effect and now until tomorrow evening. This is why, as we look ahead to tomorrow afternoon, those heat indices are going to be about 105 up to close to 110. You can see some of those spots as you look further off to the east, Mineola, close to 109. Forecasting some incredibly hot numbers for tomorrow. Moisture is building back in. That's why that heat index is going to be tougher to take as we round out the weekend. And we are going to see a little bit more of a rain opportunity as we head on into Sunday. So as we get into middle of the day, most are going to still be dry at that point. An upper level disturbance moving closer from the northwest is going to give us a little bit of lift and some moisture building in from the south. Those two things coupled together should spark at least a few thunderstorms especially south and southeast of the Metroplex as we take it into tomorrow afternoon and early in Sunday evening. Now, by Monday, we're still going to be dealing with a little bit of a rain opportunity still. Some thunderstorm activity, especially off to the east, that will be making an exit late on Monday. So two days where we'll get maybe some relief. That's, of course, those spots that get the rain. It's not widespread rain. After that, the middle of the week, guess what? That ridge builds back in across midsections of the country, and we're back to some triple digits, unfortunately. So get ready. We've got more to go, of course, this week. 81 degrees for tonight, a muggy night ahead. We look ahead to Sunday. A few thunderstorms, especially to our east. 99 for the high tomorrow. Still going to keep that heat advisory in place. Monday, Tuesday, a couple of days in the upper 90s. Losing the rain chances into the middle of next week, and we're back around 100 on Wednesday.